Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Yeah. Things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Things were making Thursday. Yeah. Um, if you are new here, then welcome. Welcome to the family. Um, I, f I would love it if you would hook the subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. Um, yeah. I feel like I haven't made a video in forever. I feel so, like, out of practice? I don't know. I've been really struggling the last few months for this whole video thing. There's a lot of reasons, a lot of things involved. Um, I'll talk more about it in the creative expressions video that will be coming out on Monday because I'm going to record it as soon as I'm done with this, even before I put this out, even though this is late in the day and hopefully it actually gets out on Thursday. I'm still going to record creative expressions before I even edit this video because like I need to put out a creative expressions video pretty darn. Yeah. So creative ex or it whatever day we're on we're on Thursday things were making Thursday um, it's a big collab um, there's a Facebook group for it which the link will be in the description box um, there's a lot of people you do not have to be a content creator you just have to love working with yarn um, you can just play along with us and show nobody. You can send pictures. I would love it. I actually think it would be really fun to um, put together a slideshow of the things that you've made um, for the theme for the month. So if you want to send stuff to me with the hashtag TW mt in the um, subject then I can just hook those into my video um, and if you want to follow the hashtag to see what other people are doing then the hashtag is definitely um, in multiple places for this the themes the themes are written down below in the description box um, this is May and the month of May is household items. I think household items is such a broad option. Um, you can make decorations for your house. You can make useful things for your house. Um, there's so many things you can do. So, um, yeah. And you can get, you can crochet. I'm guessing if you wanted a latch hook, a pillow, it would be totally acceptable. I would accept it. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Just we love it if you'd participate and just share with us what you're doing. Um, the jingle was made by J Hook Magic, so we always appreciate her and um, sharing a very catchy tune for us. And I don't know the details about the other people. Um, they've been doing it for about a year and a half now. And I started participating in 2024. They started, I believe they started in January of 2023. So um, I've been working on something. I got about halfway and then kind of made some mistakes and had to undo a little bit. And then I'm like, I just haven't, it's not been a priority when I sit down for yarn stuff. Um, like I said, I'll talk more about what's going on in um, my creative expression video, which comes out on Monday. But I do have a mess here because of the yarns, but here we go. Um, I'm making a dishcloth. I'm trying it with one white yarn. I'm liking how thin it is. We'll see once we actually use it. And I'm thinking, like this is garter stitch, so it's knit back and forth. And I'm actually thinking I would love to do um, stockinette for my dishcloth. Now I realized way after I started that typically people have like a three stitch border before they do their eyelets and I didn't. And you can still do this diagonal corner to corner and not even use eyelets. Um, you could use other kinds of increases. It's just eyelets give it a kind of a fancy border. Um, so I didn't quite, 
uh, pull back to where my I should have started my decreases properly and I can tell right here but I'm pretty sure that if I just go forth and do my decreases properly um, it won't even hardly be noticeable and it's a dishcloth for me I don't care I'm not selling it I just haven't taken time to work on it but I really need to because I could use dishcloths um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I am going to find there is a corner to corner knit dishcloth tutorial. Um, I'm pretty sure I followed it in the past. I would show you my past dishcloth except for I just started using it today so it's wet. Um, and so I will link that in the description and I know some people um, crochet washcloths so if you like crochet washcloths that's awesome. Um, a part of me wants to try crocheting one in this um, thinner yarn and seeing how that turns out too to see if I like it because one of the reasons I haven't liked crochet dishcloths is because of how thick um, the cloth is so I might do that too we'll see what my time is by the end of the month and everything so anyway um, that's what I have for to talk about today Remember to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!